Hey guys, I hope you guys New Year is starting off well and that you're having a great week so far. Um, so what I'm going to be talking about is actually the uh, Geek Squad open box um, and how it's a good choice if you know what you're looking for. So the, the device I picked up was a Sony ZV-1 uh, vlogger camera, pretty famous now all over YouTube, right? Um, it's a great camera, so that's where I got it for my, for my own use and I'm, I'm going to be mixing it into my videos a lot now. And But I, but I went for the Geek Squad certified open box. The reason why is that uh, if, if you're from the industry like I have, I've actually worked in the retail scene for about 15 years and you yeah, as long as you know what you're looking for, you can get a great deal and find a brand new device as long as you don't mind kind of a messed up box. And I honestly don't. I'd rather save my hundred bucks. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to unbox it, show you what to look for, and, you know, show you why it's a great deal. Okay, let's get it open. Okay, guys, let's get this open. The Sony ZV-1, the famous, you know, vlogger camera they released a while, little while back that everyone talked so much about. And, you know, like I said, I got this as an open box at Best Buy. I saved about $70, got it for a $630, and, was, and that was already off the $100 sales price. So it's a total of $170 off the, you know, normal normal price. So I mean, it's a pretty good deal. But it's, And I thought, you know, a lot of people would benefit by seeing how these open boxes can vary. Now, one thing you want to be wary of when you do these open boxes at Best Buy is they do give you warnings, right? So you can see things here, right? So if, you, if the only thing you're seeing is minor scratches and marks, ask them to take a look at it because that's actually a common practice that Best Buy people do to mark down things. So it doesn't mean it's actually marked. This one, for example, doesn't have any marks, but it, but it was marked that way anyway. So, you know, but you still want to look at it because sometimes, you know, the, the notes are a dead giveaway of what's wrong. And sometimes if it's something minor and they just needed to mark it down and, so, and, they, and they put the scratches on there as, as a reason, then it's just that. But that's why you want to always want to open it up, look at it before you buy the device. So let's get this open though. So here we have, you know, your basic box here. Okay. Obviously not put back, you know, obviously things a little bit more bent than if it was brand new, but that's okay. I still got all the stuff I need, but we can toss these to the side because it's just, you know, your basics. Let me pull it out. We got the camera. We'll put that to the side for a second. Here we have, you know, a windshield uh, that comes with a device. Then you got your charging cable. And then down in here, you got your battery. Okay, let me check that out. So and that's pretty much it, right? The box obviously is in really bad shape, but that's gonna be common on these open box models. Now, once again, that's the windshield. So I mean, only need to take that out to be, we know that that's for it's for when you're out and about taking stuff. Of course, there's a battery, right? Now, obviously this is a pretty small battery that, that, that Sony ZV-1 comes with. I'd recommend you picking up some more. You get them really cheap on Amazon. You can even find the, 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 the original Sony ones for relatively uh, cheap prices. So it just depends how you want to do it. Now let's get this guy out. Now, if you look at this, like I said, if you look really closely, right? There's really no marks on it, right? I mean, it's just, uh, you know, I mean, while it may say minor scratches and everything, there's actually nothing actually on this device. And you know, I mean, when I looked at it, I was pretty impressed because I looked for all the scratches I could find and I couldn't find a single one. And, you know, and, and, and the rep was like, yeah, it's actually perfect, man. I just had to mark it down. So that's why these, these can be really good deals sometimes because you're gonna save a lot of money, you know, and at the same time, you're still gonna get a brand new device. The only thing you're really gonna suffer on, like I said, is gonna be the quality of your box, you know, can sometimes be really trashed, you know? Uh, and, and you do always have to open it up and look at it yourself to make sure it meets your approval. Because while, you know, with mine, why they put marks and scratches, which as you can tell, you know, I'll bring it even closer to the camera so you can see, Right, that's just dust right there, but there's no real marks anywhere, right? No scratches, you know, just some dust, obviously. But so, I mean, why why mine is like that doesn't mean every model that they're going to sell as own box will be like that. So always make sure you look at it, give it a good look, meet your approval, and then pick it up and save yourself some money. Um, and, and so, you know, I mean, I'm pretty excited. This is this is a really great vlogging device. I mean, I'm mostly going to use this for video, uh, probably my YouTube videos, honestly. Um, so it's pretty, and, and it's real compact as well. So, I mean, if you take this on vacation, it obviously becomes a really good camera to take with you. It's very small. I mean, look, I mean, size, size, it's small, it doesn't even fit the palm of my hand. It's like a really small device. So pretty excited. But like I said, it's a great way to save money. Don't ever back away from open box models at Best Buy. It's a great way to save some money. You know, it's all, it never hurts to ask for a little extra off too, because if it's something that's been sitting for a while, sometimes the managers are in good moods and they'll give you a little bit even more. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I hope this unboxing helps. So let me, let me wrap up my thoughts on this. 
So what did I tell you guys, right? Pretty good condition, flawless, had no problems. The only thing that was really wrong with this device was that box was in horrible shape, right? But for like for hundred dollars savings on top of the already sales price, right? I mean, it's just it's just a great way to save some money. I mean, why not? Uh, I mean, if you don't care about the box, if you're not one of those kind of people that needs that flawless box for your opening experience, it's a great way to save some money. Um, another trick that I, I haven't mentioned so far is also is make sure you know you always ask for a little more. See if they can do make act like that box does matter to you, especially if, they, if the manager feels like they if you get that feeling for the manager that they want to get rid of it, then you can get a little bit more money off. These things on the floor just hurt their their bottom line. They get dinged for it. They want them gone. So, if you, so especially if you see something like scratches or blemishes, and that's the only thing they're talking about on the entire thing, that means probably the device has been untouched. Now, you do always want to look at these things because I mean, sometimes it may actually have scratches, right? But for the most part, it's just a way for managers to to lower that price, get it moved off the floor. And you get to take advantage and get a really good value on a really good product. And like I said, the only thing you're really probably going to suffer on is probably missing a box. Uh, that's of that's you know, brand new quality. But tell me, what have your guys' experiences been? Have you guys had great Geek Squad uh, certified uh, purchases? And did you guys like what like, like what you got and the quality? And what did you get? Um, you know, I mean, let's all share experiences. I mean, the more we, uh, it's always good to share, learn, help buying decisions. Because that's half the reason why I make these videos. Because I, mean, I just want to give you give you guys some education, share what I've learned, and you know, maybe it can help you guys save some money too. But like I always say, guys. If you see me at the bar, restaurant, or whatever, let's have a drink together. Get to know each other. Make some new friends. But until then, have a great day. Bye.